Thank you so much for staying with us. I still editors forum on Galaxy Television with Lion Shibo for Lauren Sean. I still have Stephanie YJ in the studio with me. Unfortunately, uh, other guest is not here yet, yet, but hopefully he joins us before the end of the, um, the program. All right, um, listening and watching that, listening to and watching that report, you know, <laughs> we're saying so many things. <laughs> But I, I would want us to okay. Let's let's take a, take start from here, comparing this budget to twenty twenty three budget as presented by President Buhari in twenty twenty two. This budget is twenty six percent higher than President Buhari's, and this is twenty seven point five zero trillion. President Buhari's was twenty point five one trillion naira. However, the deficits here. This that has presented is lower towards President Buhari presented at the time. We have the deficit of 9.18 trillion and Buhari was 13.7 trillion. Finance by what? Buhari See. No, no, no. I just, no, I just want us to look at it. So, yeah. do we give um, kudos. the kudos exactly? You took it out of my mouth. Do we give kudos, uh, although it is higher, but the deficit is lower see. and we can see some mm. other things lower? The truth is this. No matter the name or composition of a budget, what matters to the people is how their life, their lives of average Nigeria at the moment, how that budget impacts on them. Remember to put into mm. uh, place the current economic realities. See, see, the issue is this. Because this is an APC, you know, APC government, you know, Power was transmitted from an APC government to another, so it's an inter-party, inter inter -party, you know, um, succession kind of. If it had moved from, from APC to like PDP or another party, the truth would have been unnetted. There are, there are even they said it. They, Rebabi said that I mean, they met an empty treasury, practically. So that's what this, this present administration is trying to grapple with. Why not come out and say it? So you need funds. I know they need funds to do a lot of things. So when you go into that borrowing thing, I have no problem. But when you borrow, let people let it impact in the life of the people and not to fund lifestyles. So I'm not going to give kudos up because this is just a mere, a mere budget presentation. We, are, we do it every year. People don't even look forward to it anymore. You know? What is you, you think so? No, people don't because at the end of the day, when you do the budget breakdown now, you see this one, the governor, the way the guess that the vice president house is going to be renovated with. Billion. This is the same. We had vice president before. So by the time you break that budget down now, you see that it's just to fund their lifestyles. And not also, how, why, would I, why would I look forward to such? It's the same content over and over. I've not seen a budget that's impact on the lives of the, you know, on, of, of the life of the masses of this country. It's always about them. This is the same country where they want to buy SUVs for themselves. So what kind so of... How do do? This, how does the budget touch me now that's down here? Let's just, that's what matters to me. Not the rhetoric of the content or the, what the budget contains. If you break, look at that budget and you tell me how it impacts the life of the person who's going to go to the market now to cook a pot of soup. How would it impact on the life of someone who wants to pay, wants to pay school fees for their kids? How is it impacts on the life of someone who, has been, who, who doesn't have shelter or is in the hospital and they cannot afford to pay hospital bills? Those are the issues. Not how... I mean, those are... I mean, look, you can vote for all you can. This is Nigeria. I've been around this country for a long time. Budget is just a mere, it's just a mere process. It's just a process for them to see how they can smuggle. I hear, you hear part of the budget, part of the, the study president part of this budget to a tune of billions. I mean, how does it fight? How does it touch me? How do I sit down here and be discussing what affects them, not me? What affects them and not the people on the streets? You know, go around. You saw what they were saying. People don't look forward to it. How many people sit down and say, oh, the president wants to drop the budget? Maybe newsmen. But I'm not in Nigeria, so the president wants, I want to sit by the TV and listen to him. Because over and just go through it. It doesn't impact on their lives. So that is, and until we get to that level, where people will sit down and say, let's debate on what to go into this budget. What does your constituency need? What does the state need? Not what they think they need. What, not what you think you can give them. What do I need, for instance? You can't de determine. You can't determine that for me. I should be. I should be covering the long. For, for instance, you ask me what my needs are at the moment. You don't sit down there and tell me. I know my needs. 
And until I tell you, you cannot tell. So how does it impact on the budget? That is my take. So sitting down there and then transmitting the budget through a flash drive. I mean, there are some things I don't I'm on the end of. Okay, so let's bring it down to, okay, what, what, how does it profit? How does it do this? How does it do that? I think that is in the breakdown. This is also and so has been earmarked for defense and security. XYZ has been earmarked for mm -hmm. education mm -hmm. and infrastructure. So is is that not something that you think is enough? Because even okay. if okay. even if they are going to um, do things, make things work, it still has to go through okay budgeting, um, breaking it down, appropriating this for this for that. So is that not a means of how it is going to? No, no, no. In Nigeria, because I've heard so much of rhetoric, we are going to. Please do it. Let people tell you. But how do we do it if we no, don't even have a budget in Because place. the budget in question is not even broken. You know, I just said something now. That even the, the budget I heard yesterday, that one was saying that we presented a flash budget. We don't even have access. The budget co copies were not presented. So nobody can tell. That is what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. That well, maybe, I should, maybe I should that's hold that's my copy to you because I have. Please do, Sally. I, I, I would like to read yeah, it. I would like I to go through it. Yeah. I, I went through this. Yeah, movie. so yeah. I'd like to go through it. So, but then I mean, not this, you know. Dissipate my energy within it. You may not have it. No, 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 no. I said before, that, and that's another angle I went to. I said before that the budget, year, year in, year out, since the dawn of civil rule in Nigeria, has never impacted. Pick one thing that you said the budget, like you can, you can reference any past government, not even the present administration. Can reference any past government and say, oh, their budget, the um, year 2023 or year 20 or, or year 2015 or year 2010 budget, you know, budgeted Nigeria. Just pick one. So that, that's why I said, and I will not start breaking it down because breaking it down means what? I want to say, oh, so they dropped the price of commodities. Oh, so they, they, it's going to affect the, um, the price of this, the uh, subsidy, uh, subsidy regime, um, the subsidy removal. Um, so now we have. Things to, things to cushion the effect of subsidies. These are the areas I'm looking at. Again, I said budget in Nigeria is meant, designed mostly to fund the lives of the government officials and, and the elites, not the people, and that's where I belong. So I can't sit down here and tell, I can't glamorize the budget because I can tell there's nothing is tangible there. Even I've not gone through it, but I can tell. You that have gone through it, can you pick one thing? I mean, there's a truth. So if they start doing it, that people will look forward to going through the budget and say, okay, well, thank God. So we can, we can benefit from this, we can benefit from that. We can go to the hospital and get not very sick on the door. I mean, I, get... I think I, I, I so, want to um, back up your, your point with yeah. what the National Assembly also said that um, it lacks details. Okay. It, it, it just gave... Uh, what is there basically? It's okay, in agriculture, Federal Ministry of Agriculture, they're having XYZ, trillion Naira, um, Federal Ministry of Education is having XYZ trillion error. Even the National Assembly lamented that it is not detailed enough. But the point is, we have to put appropriations in place. And Which is, I, I don't have a problem Definitely. with it. They've done that. And so, so if, 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 things it's a go, if things go well... well have you seen any sign that things go, are going well? I mean, I mean, they are going to pay loans. I mean, part of the budget is going to be funded by... But it loans. Yeah, I was, you, I was when you take from, when you take from these people, you act according to the dictate most times. They say drop this, take down, increase the price of food. They will tell you things that you cannot say no to. But talk, talk about, the, talking you, about the loan, you said earlier that you can borrow for all you care. Yeah. But, but you use it and use it judiciously. But have you been doing that? Just a second, please. I could, can I? Oh, yes, please. Yes. Yes, please. I want to quote a uh, uh, reader. According to um, it is Bismarck Rowani. The managing director of a financial derivative der der company in a sister station during an interview. He said, In the end, budgetary arithmetic, budgetary mathematics in economics is of no use to anybody except when by this time, six months' time, if we are buying rice at 40,000 a bag rather than 60,000 a bag, if you are buying bread at 900 naira a big loaf instead of 1,300 which you are doing today. If you're buying Gary at lower prices, the people are not interested in whether the budget is balanced or what the debt is. How does it, the budget, in quote, affect their day-to-day -day livelihood? That is the, that is the quick key issue. If others said, 
People are not interested in the figures, but what, what wants to feel the impact of government's economic policies as many are under pressure. He added that the rate of poverty in the country is driving people mad. He said, and as you know, prices are up and people are under tremendous pressure. You will notice that on the street of Lagos in particular, the number of lunatics has increased and part of it is driven by poverty. Many mental health issues. People are rushed to the wall and pushed to the wall. Some of them walk across the wall, walk across the road, even in moving traffic unknown. So these are realities. These are the issues. Go on the street and take the mic and ask people, what's the impact? Of, you, you, you see in the budget, what do you think? So many people, you need, you, you, in this country, you need to beg them first before you interview them. Because everybody's at range right now. Say, so please, can, uh, can you? And say, why? So people say, why, why do you? And the people that won't pick, you see that anger. Why? Because there's no trust. That trust is what I expect this new government to build. There must be a trust between the people and the government. So when you tell them this, they believe you. They don't have to doubt you. Because the, that trust has been broken over the years. I want to see that question. Come, bring people back and let them start trusting. We say, this is one error. Let it be one error. And this is what they want to spend it, spend it on. Spend it and let people see. Until you start, do, until you start doing that, you start drawing people close and they start listening to you. So anything you say, they believe you. So it's understandable what's going on now because that trust is no longer there. So I, I, I see, yeah, so I, you brought the, 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 the vibes of the street, the thoughts of this the street. This is the reality. Uh, the reality yes. of the street the reality. to the program. But I know we, as we established, Yes, the body still has to be in place, yes. has to be presented, there has to be appropriation, which, is, done. Yeah, has, done which has been yeah. done. So the, 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 the focus now is execution. Yeah. That, that's exactly. Execution. So, execution. So as to you know, benefit the, the lives people. of Nigerians. Okay. Because all the appropriations that have been made for agriculture, this and that, production, X, Y, Z, when this come into play, that is when we can say, okay, uh -huh. we have a budget. Yeah, yeah, you know, I know why I said But still, the budget has to it be, has to be in yeah. place. It, it has to be, it, the budget has to be there. But why people don't feel, you know, it is a new administration. Mm -hmm. But from the, from, from, the, from the one, that subsidy removal and um, no system in place to cushion the effect at that same point, why you're removing it and say, okay, but we're going to remove this immediately as the subsidy is going, this, this, this will take place. So as cushion the effect, the harsh effect of the subsidy, for that to be missing at that point has caused a lot of, you know, distrust, pain and anger among the people. And that's from May, from May this is May, June, July, August, September. Okay, but almost all the year, the year passed. And so no impact. So you cannot delink it from that time till now. So whatever the budget is going to look, look like, it's going to be a reflection of your, your days in office so far, how far have you performed? Then this budget is supposed to be a reflection of it. So, so if you are done well between that time and now, the budget, people will want to pay attention on that budget. Mm. But a government that comes and, say, and senators do this, do, 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 just go ahead and then give them, give them prayer, give, buy cars, and people cannot even leave. They cannot. But well, we should pray. Prayer is so now uh, the prayer is, uh, is uh, you know, I'm, I'm saying, it's good to pray, you know. So now the budget, okay. then the budget drop. Okay, well, 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 in a year, so let's see. One, one, one question just before we go, because our time is so far spent. It's talking about having a deficit of 9.1 billion naira. Okay. Can't we live within our means in our budgetary allocations? Mm -hmm. Or make even below, mm -hmm. so that in a year we don't have to mm -hmm. borrow. Mm -hmm. Do you do you we think that, that is possible? No, we can do that. We can. Or is you. it that the cost of governance no, and everything uh, is higher than? You just answered the question. What the, what's we can do that. It's easy for them to say tighten your best, uh, your belts to the people, to the citizens, tighten your belt. But they will not tighten. So as I said before, those deficits, it just to fund their lifestyle. It's simple. It's to, we can actually do it. But for you to succeed in driving that narrative or that process or that policy, you must show example. Mm. You don't live a, 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 a flamboyant lifestyle as a leader. You don't drive 20 cars convoy as a governor. Mm. And you pass the street and you see people, people are at the bus stop without buses to take them. And you're happy. 
So you must come from you and say, okay, I'm going to cut down this as a president. Governors, please do so. We are going to go through this. It's going to be harsh. But people, please prepare. You can see from my side, I'm doing this, this. I am telling you, it will be like magic. Show it. My plane, I'm going to drop to. Uh, because I don't really need it. Need it. How often do I have? You know, there are ways you speak to people. Mm. And in seconds, it's everything sitting up. You know, and go to court costs. Do this, do this. And you're cutting it. The same thing happens to states. That shows that you're a, lead, a leader with the difference. That's what the people need. And they'll be, they be ready to follow suit. And I can tell you, we can live within that budget. Mm. And don't borrow all these deficits. I mean, it's to fund their lives, sir. And that's why people are not happy. That's it. Yeah, and, and that is what we'll be here to the discussion on execution of projects to better the lives of Nigerians. Very, very more important. Far more important than even the presentation of the budget as established. And then, living within our means. So we don't have to have so high deficits that we need to borrow to finance. That is our, our words to um, the leaders today. And hopefully, they make use of this information and the subsequent you. You know, administration. Thank you so very you much, so Mr. Wanji, for so being much. here. Thank it's been a very good conversation. Thank you, so Thank you so much, Nigerians, for staying tuned to Editors Forum on Galaxy Television. And um, given this week running out, we celebrate a World AIDS Day. Get tested. Please get tested and be aware of the disease, the virus, and everything that is needed. And you see that um, together we will all will live a better, happy, happy, happy life. Until Saturday next week when Hector's Forum comes your way again, I remain Lyo Shobo for Lauren Shaw. <laughs>